Good morning, Tubi Ubers. Hello, you beautiful people. Today I'm doing another video for iCrafter. And I am did work with this lovely buffalo plaid stencil. So um, this is a really cool thing. So today I absolutely featured the buffalo plaid stencil and all the fun things that you can do with the buffalo plaid stencil. So I like stenciling. Um, my last video for iCrafter, what I did was I dry embossed with this and you could barely see it. So I wanted you to see what you can do with this. My gosh, I did not clean this well. So anyway, um, I wanted to see what you could do with it. So we're gonna go through each of these cards and what I did with them. So let's start with this one. Okay, and we're gonna do this one by one. So this is the Buffalo Blood stencil in the back with some gold, pure gold metallics decofoil gel through it. Okay, and then what I did was I took the Tunnel Craft die, which is this one, so this is a tunnel card, but just because you have a tunnel card doesn't mean you have to make a tunnel card. So what I did was I took this die. She says ripping it off. See, there you can see I took this die. And when you cut it out, it makes a circle all the way around. Okay, so I took this die and I took these two dies and I took these two dies, which are their faces, this one and this one. Um, and I colored all of them. Okay, so I colored them to match my little parrot, uh, Pascal, instead of making them lovebirds. See, they're lovebirds on there, but I colored them to look like my little pineapple conure, sort of, in the jungle. And I'll probably put happy anniversary on there in a sentiment stamp that I have. I don't think we have a sentiment stamp, but isn't that cute? So, one of the things I wanted to show you is you can use this buffalo plaid for a lot of other things other than Scotty dogs. And um, this is the gel in the back of it. Okay. So there you have that, that one. I think that one's pretty cool. So, and that's that tunnel card. So they also have this die called flower bursts. Now I resisted buying this one a lot. Because you see, one of the things the flower burst does is it bursts out of, I don't know if you can see this, but this, rawr, 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 rawr. ooh, and I've lost the, this leaf just refuses to stay stuck anywhere. Ugh. Okay, I have to get my thing. So this die in the middle here doesn't cut out. Okay, and if you want the whole flower cut out, you have to cut out this part. Okay, so it comes out like this. So I've cut out the flower and because the way Linda designed it, Linda Canese is the owner of iCrafter. And she designed it to do this. Okay, which is cool. That's that's kind of cool. Can you see how it bursts up? But I didn't want it to do that. So on this card, first of all, I cut out two of them. I think that's the coolest card because it really looks like a sunflower. So I cut out two of them, but then what I did, I want to show you. Just because you have a die doesn't mean you have to leave it this way either. You know, think beyond the die. So this is what I did. I went in here like this and I just snipped all around the die. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look what I did. Okay, I'm having a hard time this morning. Okay. See? Ugh, what are you doing, die? Oh, this leaf didn't cut out. Okay. Hold on, petal. It's a petal, it's a flower. So I'll just snip that there. And voila, look at this. Oh, that one broke. Never mind. 
but that usually doesn't happen. This is bad paper. So see, now you've got this cute little cup die flower. So I made two of them and then I filled it up with seed beads. Is that cool or what? So this is another one of those things where you put down a whole bunch of glue and then you put the seed beads in and then you don't play with it till it's dry. Yeah. And this hello is from the Heather alphanumeric lowercase. I think that's cool. And the, um, this is champagne, champagne mist metallics gel through the Buffalo, Buffalo plaid stencil, which I think is pretty cool. Isn't that cool? So, um, and this leaf is just, it literally is this leaf. And I just cut the end off to make it look, you know, more like a sunflower leaf. Anyway, I, it, this one's my favorite. I like this one. I think this one came out really cool. So anyway, but you can also foil through these things. Where's my last card? There it is. Okay. So in the last card, I took Transfer Gel Duo. Now this stuff is cool because you can foil without heat. See this? No heat. It says no heat. And they mean no heat, which is really cool. So what you do, so I did this on black. So what I did was I did it on black paper through the stencil. You let it dry. It looks black and shiny, but it's sticky. So then you take your foil and you put it down and it works best if you use a bone folder and you rub and 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 then you get this cool foil effect. And if you can put your, never mind, I'll do that later. So that's cool. And that's how I got this, um, this background, which came out really cool. I like that it's shiny. A girl can't resist a sparkly. So this set is this um, ornament, Christmas ornament, Christmas indent ornament. Um, and this is cool because it comes with these two little plates that make an indent in here. And it fits like on the outside of this. So you can fit it in there. And you also can buy these if you want, which is this geometric dimensional dome that so you can make, it fits the succulent terrarium too. But this one comes with the Merry Christmas and the top of the die and um, all kinds of things. And um, you can also make Christmas ornaments out of, which I might, um, which is cool. Uh, but I just made a little Christmas card. So there they are, all three of them. Different ways to use a stencil. Happy anniversary, just a hello card, and a Merry Christmas card. All different ways to use the Buffalo plaid stencil. I hope you've enjoyed them. I, I really like this one. It's so cute. I mean, I like the other ones too, but I really like this one. It's so good. And they're on there really good. Okay. So anyway, subscribe to my channel because I do all kinds of weird things with dyes and beads and stuff. And anyway, check out iCrafter because he really is one of my favorite companies. Their dyes cut like butter and I really appreciate their products. Anyway, I will talk to you later.